Hello, welcome back. Today another 80s record, another 80s icon. Brilliant album, brilliant album. Today we talk about The Smith, The Queen Is Dead. You know, in its time, I didn't like The Smith. <laughs> no, no, you know, I said to myself, why should I listen to The Smith when I also can listen to Sisters of Mercy or Clan of Xymox or, or Clock DVA? But they really, really grew, grew on me. And, and today I, I'm, I can say that I'm a huge fan of The Smith and it's getting more and more and no more. Maybe you need to be more experienced or older or, or whatever. To, to really to really dig their albums. You know, the title, quite an iconic title, is from Hubert Selby's novel Last Exit to Brooklyn. The Queen is Dead comes from, from, from this, this book. And overall, this is what the Smith always has been done hidden references, quotes, and, and, and stuff like that. The critics also said, uh, they, this goes so far, the critics said about them, they are thieves, which of course is not true, because those quotes and references, they do it quite in an artistic way, and, and almost, it's almost safe to say that Morrissey is in a way a lyrical genius. It's, it's amazing. It's really, it really, is amazing. I think The Queen Is Dead is the best Smith album. It's their third album and they are at their peak in my opinion when, when, when this album happens. I like it way more than the somewhat, in my opinion, somewhat lackluster fourth and last album came, came out. Maybe another funny, funny uh, 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 Side aspect, of, uh, side aspect of this album, fun fact. You know who it is on this cover art? It's Alain Delon, yeah, the French actor uh, from, a, from a French movie, I think uh, a movie from 1964 it, it was. Yeah, <laughs> Alain Delon is on the cover of the Smith album The Queen Is, is, is Dead. Um, of course, we compare this original against a uh, recent remaster, reissue, whatever. But before we do so, let's get briefly into the original. I have, I really, or Dave in that case, once more, once again, really managed to get me an extremely beautiful, almost perfect jacket. Here is a little wear at, at the bottom of the jacket, but otherwise this is an amazing copy. The vinyl, almost perfect, really, really, really cool stuff. Really happy that I managed to get such an amazing playing copy. It also comes with the original inner sleeves. Here are the inner sleeves. And I will compare it against this box set. This box set also is a beauty because you not only get the original album, here we have a black variation of the jacket, you also get with this box set additional recordings double album and you get a live concert concert the smith live in boston and and this is great you know this is in my opinion when you do a reissue or an anniversary release do it this way because this is an iconic album and give us additional value because Usually the remaster is not as good as the original, but when you get this editions, it still makes sense, even if you have an original, to get the reissue, just for the beauty of the packaging and 
the additional content. Yeah, of course. <coughs> of course, I did my comparison. And surprise, surprise, the original kills kills the remaster way hotter you know here again we have this thick blanket being pulled away from the from the speaker way more punch way fresher better sound stage better yada yada whatsoever it just sounds better in every aspect of the spectrum and considering that the original is ah, between depends of course this makes huge differences it really depends on the shape on the condition it's between if you don't get extremely lucky i know i know you can't find it in the in the 50 pence or in the dollar bin uh, might happen okay good luck with that I, I, I really uh, hope you find it and it's great if you do but you never know when and if it happens so you can th think between 45 and, and 150 euros depending on, 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 the, on, the, on the shape of the vinyl so this is not cheap either this is not cheap either with the three albums and stuff like that so they are on par if you are and now now we are at the same point in a way again you want the icon you want the artifact you want the best sounding version i'd recommend the first british pressing i cannot imagine that there is another one out that that beats it would i would be surprised of course it's possible but i don't know of any pressing i haven't heard of any pressing that beats the british first or go for a reissue with with the extra stuff that is this has a lot of to do with your preferences sound wise this is a killer sounding album beautiful the whole idea the whole freshness the whole the smith comes over so beautiful that it really is is is, is something something special yeah what can i say but no matter which album you have or which album you choose you will get a fantastic album and that of course is the most important the queen is dead the smith is an absolute highlight of the 80s and i th I, I'm, I'm, I'm i think it, it stays it, it the smith the queen is dead will always be there and always be an important great recording that being said I hope you had your had a good time and I hope I see you on the next one. Bye.